Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you five simple ways to join electrical wires. I'm going to start off by solder joining. Um, I've already got one piece here, one half that I've already tinned just to save a bit of time. And so I'm going to tin the second piece now before we join them. So we're using resin core solder and um, basically just heat the wire up until the solder soaks into the wire. So there we go, that's tinned that piece quite nicely now. And now you just grab the two pieces, touch them together and then just heat it until both of them melt together, like so. Take your soldering iron away. And just leave them until they cool. And then they've joined quite nicely there. So now that they've joined, I'm just going to quickly show you um, a simple covering insulation. So what I use is heat shrink. So basically it's just a little sleeve. You slide that over, like so. And then I'll just plug in my heat gun. And use a heat gun just to shrink that sleeve over top. So it's just fairly simple. Straight onto it. And the heat shrink will shrink onto the join. Just like that, and now that join's fully insulated. So the next join we're going to move on to today is just a Coulter crimp sleeve. It's nice and simple. I'll show you how to how I just cut the wire and how I strip it. I use a pair of mechanical strippers, they work really, really well, just like so. You can do both ends. There's heaps of different sizes down in there for different um, gauge of wire. So then all we do is we slide, give that a bit of a twist, slide the sleeve over top. And then I've got a pair of crimpers here. I use the back one here because it puts a nice indentation in and um, locks that cable into the crimp sleeve. So just crimp him like so. And I do two little crimps down. Two little crimps down like that. And it is nice and snug. So then we just do the same to the other side. I'll slide him in there. And then I normally hold it with both hands just to make sure it's all the way home. And then just crimp. And same again, two little crimps. So it's crimped all the way along the wire. Pull those off. And then we've got a good join. Literally can't pull that apart. Okay, next we're going to do a, another crimp join. And it's got partial insulation on it but it doesn't actually cover the terminal that joins them together so these here can push together you've got a male and a female part and these are quite handy for electrical installations and things like that where you may need to move remove part of the wiring loom okay we'll start by joining on the male piece so basically that should just slide in there like so and then it just crumps on again so We'll just crimp him on. It should be fairly snug on that. And then the other end, the female end, slide her in and crimp that on as well. So they're nicely crimped on. Now they can just plug together like so. So quite a good little terminal. Easy to disconnect if need be. Okay, push them back together. Okay, the next terminal we're going to use is just this little clear clamp down terminal. It's got a little copper inner inside of it and a screw that clamps down on top of the wires. Okay, so the best way to do that is to grab your two bits of wire and strip them a good half inch back. Basically, twist them together by hand, like so, and then I like to grab a pair of bullnose pliers and twist them up just sort of gently with the bullnose pliers so that they're nice and snug together nice tight twist and then they can slide into the terminal until the insulation's well in there and then get a screwdriver and screw that down on top clamp it in nice and firm okay so that's another good little joiner 
And then the last one I'm going to do is a wire nut. So these have got a fairly sharp thread on the inside and they bite down on the copper when it's twisted on top of them. Okay, for that, the same again, a fairly long piece of exposed copper um, for us to twist together by hand. And then just the same with the bullnose pliers, twist them together just gently. And that gives us a good connection. And then with your wire nut, just wind it on. Nice and snug. And you've got a good twist on wire nut there, nice and tight. The only thing with these last two, and this one as well actually, um, is water and dirt and whatnot can get into those joints quite easily. So you want to slide a nice big piece of glued heat shrink or something over the entire lot uh, so that it seals them up. Uh, so no air and moisture and everything else can get in there and make them corrode. Anyway, that's our five joints. We've got a solder join that we've slid some heat shrink over and sealed up nicely. We've got a little Coulter crimp sleeve, some removable ones that you can pull apart, a clear clamp down join and also a wire nut. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video.